today I've got another KST digital servo it's also called a wing servo and again this is a very different design from the servos that you have seen and this is how it looks like so KST X10 digital servo with coilless motor from the side the back side the specs are given and yeah it weighs like 28 grams and all of the other things sides and this one so let's see what's inside this is another beautiful servo these are the standard attachments this one and this is the servo itself It looks big but it's still got very good design and dimensions I would uh, say that notice these uh, connectors with which you will be attaching the servo to any other body they lie in the middle they are not uh, level to this side they lie in the middle so yeah Extend. So let let's check this one out with the same code that I did with the other KST servo in my another review, and in which I was uh, inputting a sine wave with different frequencies uh, to the servo. So let's do the same with this one. I'll be still using the Arduino power supply so I will not be expecting such a best performance because the Arduino power supply is like quite uh, weak and it's just 5 volts and while this servo can uh, handle the voltage of 8 volts so let's do it so I made all the connections and this servo also follows the same wiring as the uh, rest of those in the market so the brown one is the ground red one is the uh, voltage pin the input voltage and the yellow one is the signal pin so the signal signal pin uh, accepts the um, waveforms from um, like 1000 microseconds to 2000 microseconds so you will be using the uh, servo write microseconds function from the Arduino library to operate this servo. It's that easy. So first, these are the connections. The 5 volts, uh, green pin, brown pin is the ground and the yellow pin is the signal which is connected to pin 8. So this is the servo and like I'll be starting with the sine wave with frequency of 1 hertz. So it's going from end to end like it's operating range in 1 second. So this is the 2 hertz, 3 hertz. 4 hertz, 5 hertz, 6 hertz, 7 hertz, 8, 9, 10, again it's losing the amplitude but it looks faster than the KST X0H, the previous similar one, doing the 15 hertz. So you see, the values are switching from 1000 microseconds to 2000 microseconds in just how much is that? Like 1 divided by 15, make it. So, yeah, back to 1 hertz. So, yeah, this is how 
the KST extend wing servo looks like and works for it right so I'll use one last thing I'll stop it with zero hertz so yeah take this one out and do some measurement so if I measure this it's like 10 mm or 9.9 .9, it's nearly the 10 mm if I measure all of this it's like nearly 30 mm if I measure all like this it's 35 mm so hope this helps uh, as the initial looks and how it should perform in case you are trying to buy one thank you so much for watching